welcome back to That Sure Was a Movie. Today we've got a very special guest with us to talk about Stranger Things Season 4, uh, our friend Claire. Um, yeah. You can follow her on Instagram with uh, her movies account, Movies by Claire, I believe, right? Yeah. She has been watching a lot of movies lately, so. I watched um, the Cha-Cha Real Smooth this morning. Yes, I saw that. So good. Great movie, great movie. Yes. We just watched that last week. So good. So heartwarming. Yes, yeah. Cooper Rafe, two for two on his movies so far. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to watch the other one. I haven't seen that yet. In my opinion, it's better than the other, than Cha-Cha Real Smooth. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll check that out. Um, all right, but we are here to talk about Stranger Things, so... Um, I'm just going to start off by saying I was a little disappointed with this season. Not, not a little disappointed, very disappointed, actually. Yeah. Um, there are some good things about the season, but Stranger Things has been like, since it came out, it's been one of my favorite shows, um, like honestly ever. And because there hasn't ever been a show like Stranger Things where like, I literally have to watch the next episode, like right away and watch the entire season, like within a day. And like the first three seasons, that's kind of how it was. But this one, I just didn't want to watch the next episode. I don't know if it was the runtime being a lot longer or if it was just the show wasn't as good or it was probably a mix of both. But yeah, like once an episode ended, I'm like just exhausted from watching that. And like, I don't care to watch another one. I did, of course, because that's kind of how you have to watch Stranger Things. But I don't know. Just disappointed overall. I agree. Even though all my coworkers think I'm crazy when mm -hmm. I told them that I didn't really enjoy it. Yeah. But it's weird. A lot yeah. of a lot of people are loving this season. I've heard some people say it's the best season. I just don't. No. I can't. No, I, yeah. <laughs> no. I don't know. I can't understand that. Yeah, I don't. I've seen so many things that are like especially this morning, because when we're recording this, volume two dropped yesterday. And I've seen so many things on Twitter and TikTok of people just like, you know, having breakdowns after the last episode or something. And I'm like, all the deaths were predictable enough that I'm like watching it. And I'm like, oh, okay, I kind of saw that coming. And yeah, I, you know, well, I will say, like, while all like the deaths and like the emotional parts didn't really like I don't know. They didn't write it well enough to make me like super sad about everything. I mean, the emotional parts were done well, I guess, in like the last 30 minutes. But like, yeah, I'll kind of get into that in a second. But yeah, I think the deaths weren't very satisfying, I guess. Um, Eddie, for example, um, he's he's the fan favorite character that everybody knew was just going to die in the end because he was the Bob of season four, basically. Yeah. And we all knew he was going to die. And, but the way he died was so pointless because here they are fighting Vecna in the upside down. And for no reason, he just runs out and goes after some bats that have nothing to do with the story at all. He doesn't help in any way. If he would have just not gone back into the upside down to fight the bats, and just stayed with Dustin in their real world, the same thing would have happened where Eleven would have just done her thing. And then in the end, technically they didn't win anyway. So his death was like all for nothing. And they like the scene with Dustin and uh, Eddie's, what, is this his uncle? Or is it his I dad? I don't so. even know. He's his uncle. His uncle. Yeah. yeah, the Dustin and his, Eddie's uncle scene, like, made it seem like that Eddie was like some type of hero and like he did so much and saved the entire town of Hawkins but all he did is just run to his death for no reason and fight a bunch of giant bats yeah I don't know it was just it was disappointing because it felt like they like decided they had to kill Eddie just because that's the formula they seem to be going with for new characters and I don't know it was just forced just had to kill him in some way but it would have been cool if he fought fighting Vecna or something and I don't know oh well oh well agreed ditto to everything <laughs> yep. I don't know I yeah. was shocked that the second episode was two and a half hours long 
Yeah. That was crazy to me. It was a long time. Um, And I don't know where I read all these things. I don't know if it was the Duffer Brother quotes, but I read the last two episodes were going to be like insane, go like full on horror. And like, it wasn't any different from the first part of the season, like at all. It was just boring and didn't really keep my attention that well. I don't know. It just didn't entertain me like it usually does. Yeah, I remember seeing an article that was talking about how the last episode was supposed to be like absolute carnage and super gory, but I didn't really think anything about the entire season was all that gory with the exception of maybe like, you know, when Vecna kills a victim or they like crack all their bones or whatever, like that was a little gross. But like, other than that, I didn't think there was. Yeah, in terms of like, in terms of going into horror and like stuff like that, I think this is like the least scary season they've ever had. Maybe season three. I don't know. But the first two were definitely like more horror than I think this one was. If I remember, I, I don't know. But I don't know. I Another thing is, I think there are just way too many stories going on the entire season. So annoying. Like, you just cut back to a storyline. It's like, oh yeah, I forgot they're doing this thing over here. And then they're over here across the country. They're in another country. Mm-hmm. And anything, anytime it cuts a hopper, I just got so annoyed. Same. I just did not care about anything happening in Russia and with Hopper. And like, it's cool that he's back. Sure. We all knew he wasn't going to be dead at the end of season three. But like, we didn't need what seven episodes to get him out or no it took him actually it took him the whole season he didn't come back to like the last 15 minutes what am I talking about yeah, yeah like I don't know it was weird and then Jonathan and Will and that crew Mike was with them eventually um they were like just like gone from the episodes for like a couple episodes it's like they didn't cut back to them yeah or maybe It was just one episode, maybe, but, like, I don't know. It was weird. Well, people definitely noticed that. I saw a TikTok that talked about how they felt like Jonathan especially was written off the show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I didn't like how they did the whole Steve and Nancy thing this season. Like, where they made it seem like they were going to get back together, and then, like, they just made Jonathan disappear. And, like, and then at the final episode, um, Jonathan comes back, and obviously Nancy and Jonathan are all good. Like, I don't know. It was weird. I just didn't like that, but I did enjoy Jonathan's new friend, though. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> he, plays, dudes. <laughs> he plays, like, the same type of character in everything I see him in, though. Really? I don't think I've seen yeah. him before. Have you seen, I, have you seen Booksmart? I just mm-hmm. watched that the other night. No. So that's it's been on that's my what list I draw him now. from. Okay. I'll have to watch that. Yeah. I've been trying to watch that for a long time. he does pretty much play like the same type of character though in that movie Mm -hmm. so yeah that's no i'm i'm always a sucker for a good like surfer bro (laughs) character i I just find it entertaining (laughs) but uh yeah i will say um although the season wasn't great and the writing was very annoying vecna i think was a very cool villain Mm -hmm. like the way like that he killed his victims was really cool. And the reveal of him being one from uh, like the same like lab that Eleven was at was cool. I didn't love the whole Papa and Eleven flashbacks the whole season either, like the first part batch of episodes. But the ending of that was good. But I just feel like his character was kind of wasted because everything else happening around him just wasn't great. I don't know. Yeah, I definitely thought. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you you go. You go. I definitely thought the whole Papa and Eleven thing was weird, especially in the first section of episodes they released, because it was like, you know, all those flashbacks that was getting confused between like what was actually going on and what she was just seeing when she's in this like void or whatever. I don't know. I just not, not a fan of it. It did feel very messy. Yeah. I'm, I am glad though, that I guess we got some of that because the whole show has been like 
it's kind of been like a mystery about who Papa was, what happened at that lab. So I am glad we got some explanation and like a background of Eleven, I guess. But Do we like, like Papa? What do you guys think? <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just didn't like him back that much. I don't know. I mean, I was glad when he died. I'm just like, I just don't want to see any more of him. So, yeah, yeah, he yeah. just creeps me out. Yeah. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay what else do I have to talk about this season um it's, oh. it's hard because there's not many good things to talk about in no. <laughs> well here's one thing Max in the last episode yeah when she dies dies and then dies and then miraculously comes back to life yeah I don't know what's happening <laughs> with her because if they are doing a time jump there's like no conclusion to this season like right. I don't know how long the time jump will be, but say it's like five years. Like they just set it up. Like this whole season was kind of for nothing because they didn't win. Nothing got resolved. And Vecna is still out there. He still seems like he's the main villain. So like literally there was nine episodes and just for nothing, like nothing advanced the story at all. Like they're back to the beginning of season four, basically back to where they started. Yeah. That's how, that's how I felt when it ended. I was like, okay. So yeah. that was a, that was a fluff season. Mm-hmm. It, was I, weird. Yeah. it was weird. And I don't know where they're going with the time jump. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to affect everything because all the relationships will be different. All like people have probably been apart from each other for, I don't know, years. I don't know if it's going to be that long, but I don't know. It'll be, it'll be interesting. I mean, I'm excited that I'm excited for season five just because it is going to be the last season. So obviously it has to have like a conclusion. So it's not going to have the same problem as season four had. And since they're the Duffer Bros are ending it on their own terms and not like it gets canceled and they just have to write an ending, that also makes me hopeful. But we'll see where that goes. Um, I don't know. I just was disappointed how there was no conclusion. And it's just like, back to where they started yeah one thing that's interesting with the time jump is you know Vecna pulled the whole like Michael Myers thing where he flew out the window landed on the ground and then they walk outside and he's gone so like there's going to be this whole time jump but what's going on in between there like Vecna's obviously not gone so is now so yeah. the Pennywise thing where he goes away for a few years and then comes back to terrorize everybody or like <laughs> that's the thing like if it's, no. if it's gonna be years like we literally saw in the final episode that like it seems like the real world's like basically like turning into the upside down mm-hmm. so like we're just gonna miss all of that happening I mean I'm sure if they do a time jump maybe they'll show what happened in between but like I feel like that's a lot to just leave out like I feel like The finale should have been halfway through this season. And then they wrote another half of the season where it finishes off what happens after that gate opens. I don't know, but I don't know. Back to Max, though. I kind of (laughs) got away from that by mentioning a time jump. But that was, yeah, that was very weird how, like, they made this really emotional scene and, like, she's going to die and Lucas is crying. is, And then, like... I guess she's alive. We don't know. She's doing, we don't, I don't know. Yeah, she's not dead. We don't know if she'll wake up again, but she's not dead. That's all we know. It was weird. And the fact that what saved her was 11 just saying no. Like she's she's sitting there dying and 11's like, no. So like in the writer's room, we're like, okay, so Max is going to die. And, uh, but she's gonna live because 11 says no and like what do you mean she says no well she says no like she says no and then uses her powers to save her no she just says the word no the word no yeah the sentence no like no that's that's how she's gonna save her just by saying the words no oh but she's like gonna be there with her and like like use her power no she's not even there actually she's in a pizza dough freezer up in like new mexico or something oh okay that makes sense well I don't know. It was it was very odd. Very odd. But so correct me if I'm wrong. Is Eddie the only one that actually died? I 
I think so. Eddie, and then there was what was his name like Jason or something that was Chris Chrissy's boyfriend. Oh uh, yeah, the uh, the basketball player. Oh my god, I forgot, totally about, forgot him. about him. Yeah. <laughs> like other than that, I don't know because they were like. Yeah, I think that's. There were like five deaths or something, and like only two people died. Yeah, I never, I never saw like a number. I never remember seeing like a number, but yeah, they made it seem like everybody's just gonna die. I knew Steve wasn't going to die just because, first of all, he's a fan favorite. And if there's only one more season, they're not going to cut Joe Keery from the show. And also, they put up a billboard that said, protect Steve. And if he was going to die, that would just be a straight spoiler. So they're not just going to do that. I mean, that basically confirmed it when I saw that billboard. But I don't know. I'm glad he didn't die. I love Steve. So yeah. They really made it seem like he was going to quite a few times. <laughs> yeah, they were definitely teasing that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I felt like when he told that whole story of like how he sees his future, like traveling across the country or whatever with the brood of kids, like I'm like, okay, mm-hmm. maybe they are going to take him out because he's like having this moment of like thinking about his own future and then it'll, you know, tragically mm-hmm. end too soon. And, but no, and I'm glad it, they didn't kill him off. <laughs> yeah, I am too. The thing, the thing is, like, now that we add, like, two characters with Jonathan's friend and Eddie, like, I was kind of convinced they were going to kill a lot of characters because at this point, there's a lot of characters in the show, especially when we're already have the, having this problem of everybody being separated and having too many stories, which kind of had to happen because there's just so many characters. They can't all be in the same place. So it probably would have been better if they did kill a couple more characters. I guess the time jump thing might help with that because they will probably be separated at that point anyway. I don't know. Because people are going to college. And depending on how long of a time jump it'll be, the young kids could be in college and the older kids could be like in the real world at that point. Or if it's just a few months, then I don't know. We'll see. But I don't. I don't think I have seen if it's confirmed how long the time jump will be. Are they freshmen right now? What? You, no, are they juniors? What are they? I think they're like. Well, the older kids are seniors, so I I think the younger kids are freshmen. Freshmen. Mm. So maybe they'll just throw them senior year. Yeah. yeah. Throwing college into the mix. What college yeah. do you go to? Yeah. I don't know. I gotta fight back now. We'll I always that. I always hate the college what college are you going to storyline and movies especially if there's like a relationship involved and then like that'll start a fight between the two people because they're not going to go to the same college and then like I've just always hated that because it's so familiar so I'm hoping they don't do that but Mm -hmm. oh well I don't know we'll see we got a long time to wait no I know it's I don't even know if I'm going to have the interest to watch season five but I know I'll I'll watch it just because it's like Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, especially it's the last season, so I'm not going to stop now. And yeah, I don't know. I feel like, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. I had had a good point there to make. (laughs) Can't remember what I was going to say. I don't know. It'll pop back. It'll It'll pop back. It'll come back. What did you guys think about Will? Like, Mm. I know they were trying to make his character a little bit more like sexually ambiguous, things like that with Mike. Mm-hmm. and did we ever see the painting we did yeah yes. we did okay so here's the yeah they're just as you can tell those last two episodes in volume two I just they I was just watching but I don't know how much I processed yeah but I feel like I don't know I feel like they're gonna include that in the second era in season five they're gonna include mm-hmm. Will a lot more because he wasn't in it a lot this season you know? no he's he's kind of been a weird character like yeah. he seemed like when the show dropped he seemed like he was the main character but he's really never been in the show because like the whole season one he was in the upside down and they were looking for him so he was absent from season one season two he was there a lot he had a lot of screen time but it was not actually will it was like the mind flayer basically inside of him using him as like a vessel i guess season three i really don't remember him having a big part of it I feel like season three was more of Max, Billy, Eleven, Hopper, all that stuff. And then, yeah, this season he was basically just absent in California. And 
I don't know. It was weird. Um, it seems like every other character has gotten like, well, I was going to say like a good storyline or like something big. Obviously, Will has had like the biggest parts of the show, but not actually Will. I don't know. But I mean, yeah, it's kind of weird how they just like hinted at things every now and then. Then he'll just disappear and then he'll come back and then it's like, what's going on here? I don't know. But. Yeah, it was definitely, kind of, well, it's weird because like I kept forgetting about that storyline. And every time it would cut back, I think it was probably because they weren't even in like the last two episodes of the first part of the season, but I like kept forgetting about it. And then in the second volume, when Will shows Mike the painting, and then he kind of is just like crying on the other side of the car, but Mike doesn't even notice. And then I saw this whole, I saw this tweet or something that was like, Mike can sense Will on this, like this whole other dimension and that he's in trouble, but he can't tell when he's just like sobbing two feet away from him in the car. Mike is, to- Mike is tone deaf. He just is. <laughs> yeah. Mike has always been my least favorite character. I've always hated Mike. Yeah. I was, I was saying like a few, like a few days ago, like I, if they're going to kill like a lot of characters, I would not mind if Mike dies because I just never have cared for him. No. I don't know, but I'm I'm kind of glad they didn't kill any of like the main like young group though. I feel like they should all stick together, but I don't know. I guess they weren't together this season, but <laughs> yeah, it's it kind of weird. Like nothing happened in the entire season, and then there's just like a reunion in the last five minutes, and then it's like, oh, it's turned into the upside down. Season's ending. Okay, <laughs> Vecna's still alive. Max may be alive. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. The soundtrack, though, that's what I was going to say earlier. Mm. Soundtrack's amazing, as always. Yeah. I uh, love the 80s music. Love the score. The score is amazing. The Separate Ways, uh, like, cinematic score was very good. Mm-hmm. But Running Up That Hill blew up. Yeah. wonder if they expected that to happen. I don't know. I... I looked. I saw this yesterday, but Kate Bush has earned like 2.3 million in royalties just from people streaming that yeah. after Stranger Things, and that's insane. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, what was their budget? I always like to know what their music budget was. I don't know, because they had like, wouldn't they say like 30 million dollars per episode was what their budget was for like everything? It was something insane. Oh my gosh. Um, let me look this up. I mean, Netflix is going to hold on to Stranger Things as long as they can. Yeah, the like Duffer Brothers have said like they're going to create spinoffs in the Stranger Things like universe afterwards. So, oh my gosh, I don't so, know what it'll be. Yeah, thirty million dollars per episode. Yeah, and then it says um, if you multiply that by nine episodes, you've got two hundred and seventy million, which is a hundred million more than the production budget for Top Gun Maverick. Oh my, that's God. insane. <laughs> that's insane yeah they said like there were like 20 vfx shots in like the last two episodes alone and like the last one's two and a half hours so that one was probably even more than 30 million so it had to have been easy yeah yeah especially since that was probably the most like vfx heavy one too and yeah 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 it's crazy i mean it's the biggest show netflix has ever had i'm sure by far Maybe not, but I feel like it is. If not, it's very close to being up there. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what? I don't think the soundtrack was what I was thinking of. I think what I was thinking of was the fact that it's there's so long in between seasons. And like we're talking about season five. And it's like we have so much longer to wait. And I hate that because Netflix drops the season in a day, like all at once. Everybody watches it in one day. And next week, not a single person will be talking about this show for the next like three years. And there's so many years in between seasons and you just forget what happens. And I hate that. I wish they would release this show weekly. Now, I will say, if the first three seasons were released weekly, I would have gone insane because I would like just need to watch the next episode. But... This season, if it was weekly, I would have been so happy because 
I could totally wait a week to watch the next episode for this season because it's like I did not need to binge it at all. No. Yeah. I feel like it's hard to binge it too because they're all it's literally like watching like three or four movies in a row like if you were to watch mm-hmm. three or four episodes. Yeah, that like extra like 20 30 minutes like is a lot. You can feel it is a lot instead of like 50 to, to an hour long episodes, but Yeah. The season reminded me of Ozark. It's like really long episodes and just like everybody loves it. And I just think it's kind of boring. That's how I felt about Ozark. Yeah, except for the last season. I will say the last season I did enjoy. But for the most part, it's like it literally just felt like Ozark to me. It's like the episodes are so long and it's like I just don't care. But I don't know. I, I hate to get on here and just tear apart the <laughs> show. But like there's just not much good to say for the season. Something else that was really good was the scene with Max escaping Vecna in the first batch of episodes with running up that hill plane. That was a really good scene. Yeah. I think that was episode four. That was that was a decent episode. But which one was the Maeve? Which one was the one I said that was the worst episode this show's ever had? Was that was that oh. yesterday or was that the last? I think that batch? was yesterday for the episode six because it ended and you're like that was garbage. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know. I think it was episode six, maybe seven. But one of this one of the episodes in here was like the worst episode the show's ever had. Except for the random episode where Eleven goes to meet other people with from the lab that yeah. never got brought back from season two, I believe. Two, yeah. yes. That was a weird episode. But I don't know. I think to be honest, this whole season's probably. I bet actually here's how the ranking of the Stranger Things episodes go. That episode from season two where like Eleven goes off and does whatever with those random people that never come back. And then episodes one through nine of season four. And then you can start ranking all the other ones. Like, I'm not kidding. I don't think there's a an episode in season four that's better than any episode in seasons one through three. No, I agree. Maybe, maybe episode four of the season. But that's probably not true. Yeah, I just don't feel a need to go back and rewatch any of them. Like, no. I could go back and rewatch probably any episode with the exception of the one from season two, from seasons one through three. But like this one, A, they're just so long and they're like kind of boring that I just don't feel the need to rewatch it ever. Yeah, episode four is the only one where I'm like, I kind of do want to go back and rewatch it because everybody was saying that was so good. And I still didn't love it, but like, yeah, the running up the hill scene with getting out of escaping Vecna was good. Um, I think that one was called Dear Billy. I think that was the episode title. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that's kind of all I have good to say about the season. Vecna was really cool. And the running up that hill scene was really cool. <laughs> that's about it. I do like the scene where they, uh, in, surprisingly, it's in Hopper's little storyline where they put all the prisoners in. And oh, the, the yes. Demogorgon. I thought that was cool. I was going to mention that. I yeah. hated everything happened with Hopper, except for like that one scene where they were, yeah, in like the cage battle with the Demogorgon. That was really cool. And then after that, it's like, okay, I don't care. Get them out of Russia. Get them back because I don't want to see any more of this. Yeah, that was literally like the only good part of that storyline. The rest of it, I probably could have skipped through. Actually, I could have skipped through and I wouldn't have missed anything important plot wise. Yeah. Um, is that the, what you guys think is the worst? Like out of the all the different storylines is Hopper's. Mm-hmm. Is that your my, that he's like my least favorite yeah. of this season? By far. Yeah. Every time it cut back to him, I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Yeah. And then there's another one. Every time it cut back to 11 in the flashbacks, I'm, I also was thinking the same thing. I'm like, we've seen enough of this. I don't care. Like, show me, like, the ending part. Like, I only cared about, like, the Vecna reveal and all that part. But it was just too much of it. Like, they could have cut, like, six hours from this season. Easily. And it would have been a great season, probably. Yeah. It was so unnecessarily long. Mm Mm-hmm. I really hope they don't do that with season five. I hope they go back to like the solid like 45 minute, 50 minute episodes. Yeah, I am afraid that it's the last season. So they're going to be like, oh, we're going to go all out. We're making two hour episodes. Yeah, that would be miserable. 
No, they're not going to go that far. I, th- I think an hour and 20 minutes is probably the farthest they'll ever push an episode, unless it's a finale. Yeah, I feel it's like if they season, do that, too. The, the series finale is could easily just be like three hours, to be honest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who knows? But I don't think that's that's when everyone's going to die. Yeah. It's season five. Mm-hmm. Everyone's going to start dying then. Yeah. Yeah, there'll definitely be some deaths in season five for sure. I feel like if they stick with the whole like hour 20 minute episode thing. Um, oh, shoot. I completely just lost my train. Oh, never mind. I got it back again. Um, I feel like if they stick with that, then it's probably going to be a solid two or three years before we get the next season, too. Mm-hmm. It's been three years since we got season three. Yeah, it's always a while. It's always a really long time, even before COVID. I remember like Stranger Things released so long ago. When is the next season coming out? Mm-hmm. And then obviously COVID delayed it even farther f- between these two seasons. That and I'm sure production was a lot more crazy than the other seasons were, considering $30 million budgets and all the VFX they did. But yeah, it's just too long. Like you watch it in one day and it's just like, you gotta wait three years. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. This was now. This was not. I I did not binge watch this season. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I don't I, know. I, couldn't either. I know some I, people were like, "I finished the entire thing and went." I'm like, I don't know how you did that. Oh, no, I think I, I'm trying to think if I even watched two episodes back to back. I know I did. Like, I might have done it one or two times, times, but definitely never did three. Not no, you know, could never do that for this season. I hated that I would watch like one episode because I think it was episode three that I watched and my friend had texted me that was like oh my god you have to watch episode four it's amazing Mm. and I'm sitting here I'm like okay well (laughs) I guess if I have to I'll watch episode four and I really hated that I thought that way that I was like you know Mm. having to force myself to watch an episode because you know previous seasons I just couldn't wait to watch the next episode yeah um I don't know I remember I watched season two in like two sittings. It was two days. I watched four episodes in a row. And the next day I watched the next four. And I did that easily. In this season, there's no way I could do that. That would be miserable. I just hope they're all together in season five. Like yeah. I hope season five, they finish it mm-hmm. all in one storyline, you know, all together. And I yeah. don't know. I've given this season a lot of hate, but I do love the show still. I love this show. The first three seasons are amazing. Mm -hmm. And I am excited for season five. I'm hopeful. If it's like season four, I'll be disappointed, but I'm hoping it's it's good. But we've got three minutes left. Should we wrap it up or should we start a new Zoom in three minutes? (laughs) I've got nothing really else to say. I don't know about anyone else. Really either. All right, I'll just do a little outro here. (laughs) <laughs> all right well you heard our thoughts on season four unfortunately none of us really enjoyed it that much um I'm, I'm glad a lot of people did enjoy it um I tried I just couldn't get into it but that's uh that's kind of our thoughts on it so make sure you follow us on Instagram and TikTok follow Claire on her Instagram movies by Claire there's a lot of content over there watches a lot of movies um so yes follow us on all our socials and stay tuned for some new episodes coming out soon